Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog. And today we are going to talk about the second of two release dates that uh, Sony has released recently. Um, I obviously, you know, I was under surgery. I was actually asleep when all this news was coming out. And so I'm trying to play catch up now. I had a lot of videos planned that luckily were scheduled that went up up until Friday. And then I, you know, was able to get on on Saturday and upload and schedule my last two videos that you saw on Saturday and Sunday. So I kind of want to keep that going. I think from here on out, while I was in bed rest, I was thinking about like my work schedule that's coming up for the holidays and how insane it's going to be and how I might only get like, you know, I'll get two days off usually a week. Um, but uh, sometimes I might only have one day in case I have to fill in for somebody or something. So I figured on my one day off, what I want to do is I want to film like four or five videos and then schedule them to go up, you know, throughout the week and just have all my videos ready. So I won't be like, you know, right on top of the latest news sometimes, but I'll at least cover it, you know, within a couple days afterwards. And I think that'll work out best for me. It's something I should have done a while ago and actually something I talked about doing a while ago and I never did. So I'm now doing it and hopefully you guys are enjoying it. That way you're guaranteed content at the same time every day. I think I'm going to put DC content up at six in the morning uh, Pacific Standard Time every morning and then Venom and Marvel content I'll put at noon of the same day so sometimes you might get two videos in a day and then most days you'll probably just get Venom stuff uh, but any time I do DC stuff you'll probably see those at 6 a.m. and then all my Marvel stuff will be at noon so hopefully you guys enjoy that schedule and I'll do my best to keep to it for as long as I can but I think it'll help me during the holidays so I can focus on work and focus on wrapping up a book I'm writing uh, finally you know to finish it and uh, I think this will just help out a lot that I can dedicate one day, a couple hours of that day to that and then edit those videos, schedule them for the rest of the week. And then any free time I have during the week, I can work on my book. So that's what I'm going to try to do. So hopefully you guys are cool with that. Uh, but for now, I want to talk about this other release date. Um, we have uh, October, right? It's um, it's I think, and excuse me for my thing bouncing all over the place. I'm using my Kindle. Uh, so October 2nd of 2000, or 2020. Um, so in the year 2020, Sony released two release dates. One of them was July 10th, and we talked about that in the, the Venomverse episode. So if you're not watching the Venomverse show, that's kind of a companion to this show. That'll cover all the movies like Morbius and uh, Into the Spider-Verse and then, you know, Craven or whatever, Silver and Black, whatever movies that Sony announces. We'll probably touch on briefly in those. I won't go into full detail on those like I do Venom and like uh, how we go through all of Venom's history. I'm probably not going to do that with those uh, movies and characters, but we'll at least touch on them a little bit and we'll try to keep up to date with certain information. So uh, we did talk about that, the July 10th one and how that's possibly a release date for the Morbius movie over in that episode, but uh, for this one, October 2nd, you know, this is uh, two years from now, uh, which is a pretty standard turnaround time for a successful movie to get a sequel. You probably want to pump it out two years later because, you know, you want to start getting the ball rolling on it and you want, you know, to make sure fans don't get too distant from the franchise, you know, and that's kind of the, kind of the basic way that it's done. You know, a lot of times they rush stuff out. I hope they don't rush it too much. I hope they focus a lot more on the script this time around. I would really like to see more emphasis on character and character development. I'd really like to see Carnage handled in a good way. And, uh, and I want to see the relationship between him and Eddie Brock done really well. I mean, this is essentially his arch nemesis outside of Spider-Man. Uh, but for this movie universe, since there is no Spider-Man, it makes the most sense to, like, this is, you know, his main bad guy, essentially, uh, is Venom versus Carnage. And I hope that's the name of the movie, uh, is Venom versus Carnage, not Venom 2. I would like to see it called Venom versus Carnage or Maximum Carnage um, or Carnage Unleashed or something like that, whatever, you know, whatever version you want to go with. Uh, but October 2nd seems like it's most likely going to be the Venom 2 release date, even though Sony hasn't said officially what either of these release dates are, uh, it seems likely that October 2nd, because if you think about it, Ruben Fleischer is going to be filming uh, Zombieland 2, I think in January, so he, told, uh, he told us when we were at the screening, when he came out and talked with Tom Hardy and stuff, uh, at the screening we were at with my friend Andrew, who uh, recently invited me to a Into the Spider-Verse, uh, you know, premiere, so uh, I'm going to try to, you know, hopefully be well enough to do that. Right now, I'm, I have like big bursts of energy, and then I come on, I'm like, all right, let's record some episodes, and then as soon as I'm done, I crash. Like, I, 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 I kind of, you know, fizzle out pretty fast. Um, but overall, I'm doing pretty well. I, I mean, considering, look how I'm, I'm doing really well. My roommate even said, and even my mom, when I talked to her on the phone, she was like, wow, you sound really good this soon after. It's great. You're not so groggy. You're not, you know, so, you know, I'm going to talk to my doctor tomorrow, see what's going on. Um, but everything looks like it's, you know, good, going well. So I appreciate, again, all the kind words and everyone reaching out to me and telling me to rest. I did plenty of that, and I'm ready to get back to work, ready to get back to videos. So here we are with this, and, um, and my thoughts on this, and you know, I'm I'm just, you know, even though Sony didn't officially announce what these movies are, it seems likely because again, Ruben Fleischer said he's going to start filming in January for Zombieland 2. Then he'll probably wrap filming on that 
by like you know end of February or, or into March maybe at the latest, and then they'll go into pre production or post production, and he'll probably work on that for like five or six months maybe maybe more I don't know, uh, but uh, he'll work on that, and then Sony at that point will probably be like, look, we've been working on the script dur during you working on Zombieland two, and now we need you to come in, look at the script, you know, talk with the actors, uh, you know, do some casting, and uh, and so I have no doubt in my mind that by next fall of 2019 that they're going to already start being into um, you know uh, pre-production on this uh, if not already full in production you know I feel like pre-production probably starting soon like very soon probably right after the holidays and uh, any threads they want to connect from Morbius to Venom 2 they're probably going to start threading in as they're filming Morbius and writing Venom 2 so I have no doubt in my mind that the script will probably be done by next summer and then Ruben Fleischer by, you know, maybe August or September uh, will be back in the director's seat, back working on Venom 2, I imagine. I mean, that's a big, heavy schedule for him to go to, you know, one movie to the next like that, but I'm sure the guy is built for it and ready for it. And I'm sure he's excited that he gets the return to this universe with Venom, assuming he's going to be the director. I hope he is. Um, but, uh, you know, hopefully his schedule doesn't conflict in any way. But it sounds like him and Tom had a really good relationship. Tom, you know, helped produce Venom. So I know Tom's very excited. He wanted this movie to do well so he could come back and play the character again and he even said he's like hey give me some feedback and you know give me constructive feedback we're at the screening and he's like tell it tell me what you did like what you didn't like i'm a producer of this movie and i want the next one to be even better so hearing that you know gives me hope and unfortunately that's not things that he said in interviews you know too much that gets blasted out there you know out, out on the internet uh, but that's something he said at the screening and was really awesome it was great to hear him and I could tell he was being very sincere so if I gave him a little bit of you know feedback and I'm like oh you know I know it's probably you know a lot to ask you to watch my show so here's a couple things that I noticed in the movie but I would love to see you know better in the second one but I still love the movie I thought I had a lot of fun watching it and he was really great he was very receptive of stuff like that and uh, just shows that this guy does care uh, about what he works on and he he ended up like this character a lot which a lot of us do and he wants to keep playing the character so it's you know I'm glad he's gonna get the chance to so October 2nd seems like a very realistic release date if they film it next fall and they start working on it, then they, you know, spend, you know, then they shoot into January like they did with this first movie. They shot up until January of this year. Then they went back for like a week of reshoots, like in June or July. And then uh, that was it. And then the movie was, you know, edited and ready to go by October. So, you know, it's a machine and these guys are good at working that machine. So I am so excited for this to know that this is most likely going to be Venom 2, even though we haven't heard the official word from, uh, you know, from Sony yet, but I have a feeling it is. So I want to hear your thoughts. Do you also think that October 2nd, do you think that too soon for a Venom movie? Would you like them to wait a little longer, an extra year maybe? Or wait, are you okay with it coming now? I think a lot of us have waited long enough for a Venom movie, and then now that we got one, a lot of us were waiting long enough. We've been waiting to see Carnage on screen since, you know, Spider-Man 3. We've always wanted to see Carnage brought to life in some way, and now we're finally going to get Carnage on screen fighting Venom. I'm so excited for this. I know it's something a lot of you guys have been waiting for, and that's why this week we're doing Carnage Week all week long. I figured this was a great way to celebrate because the movie is now over $800 million, $822 million now worldwide. And it is it is like past Spider-Man 1, past Wonder Woman. It's passing all these movies. It's insane how much this movie is gaining. But I think it's starting to lose steam. And I think after next weekend in, in China and some of the other countries, it's uh, it's maybe only going to get up to about $850 million, And I think it's going to like level off. So I don't know if it'll beat uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, which is around $880 million, or Batman vs. Superman, which is $873 or $74 million. Those are pretty high numbers, and I don't know if Venom is going to reach that, uh, but it's nice to see that it is going to at least hit the $850 million marker and be in probably the top 50 or 60 highest grossing movies of all time, uh, which is just insane and super awesome. So that's why I want to celebrate this week with another Carnage Week, because we never did do one in Season 2, so this season we're going to do two Carnage Weeks. We're going to do this week, and then probably in like six months from now, uh, before the season ends, Season 3 ends, we'll do another Carnage Week near the end. Uh, so this week... Buckle up. We're going to talk about a lot of fun stuff. Spider Carnage will be in the next episode. We're going to talk about how Cletus Cassidy went into the uh, negative zone and got a new symbiote after Venom ate his in the main universe. We're going to talk about that. We got Carnage Family Feud this week, Carnage USA, and Carnage Born, which is the one shot that came out from Donny Cates recently that a lot of you guys were writing me about when I was on bed rest saying, I can't wait for you to read it. I can't wait for you to review it. So we will review that at the end of this week. And then we'll get into things like Minimum Carnage and the Jerry Conway Carnage series and a couple other things. Uh, we'll get into that during the next Carnage week. Uh, but for this week, I hope you guys like the content. Thank you so much for watching and supporting the show. It means a lot to me. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.